My name's Mike Ellis. I have a problem. I rescue, refurbish, restore and revitalise vintage drums, in particular Premier drums. In this programme I'll share with you my adventures, ups and downs, ins and outs, triumphs and tragedies as I lavish some TLC on vintage British drums. Welcome to The Drum Fettler. Welcome one, welcome all to The Drum Fettler. In this edition, we're going to be talking about restoration or rotting. We'll be looking at whether or not drums should always be restored to their true form of glory, or are we allowed to do more adventurous stuff with them? Experts, we love them, especially online. And I get the irony of me telling you this um, online. And the Silver Star Concert Tom Conversion. We've laughed. We've cried, we've loved, we've lost, fought, kissed, bounced, boogied, waltzed, stumbled. Now we reach the custard curdling conclusion. <laughs> and so we come to the 14 inch. Gonna strip it down, drill the holes for the second row of 43620 lugs. Put a bearing edge on it, clean up the inside. done. Isn't that pretty? I do love the arrangement like this. With two rows of 436. The inside of the shell has come up really nicely as well. Another one which uh, I'm very pleased with. So that's great. Um, I just need to find some hoops now. I've got, now I've got one obviously because it came with a hoop. So I'm not convinced that I've got another but I can find one, someone will have one, hopefully. 15 inch next. You know when you drop something small on the floor, like a bolt or an insert or a swivel nut or something like that, and it disappears into another dimension, never to be seen again. Well, on the rare occasions that you can see it, because I've just dropped one and I can see it, but a bit of a dicky back, you need one of these. I've just been having a look at Facebook, which is always a joy to see the kind-heartedness and great spirit of the human race, as I'm sure you're aware. And I got a message on the Blenheim Drums Facebook page. And this is the address, if you feel compelled to visit there and say something to me. It was about the Silver Star Concert Toms, and one of the experts that visit the page, and they're always welcome, said that, well, intimated that the Silver Star should have die-cast hoops. Well, there's two reasons why it hasn't. One, they're expensive, and two, the client doesn't want them. The client wants steel hoops. This is a problem I come up against rather more often than I would like to. Restoration or customise. And someone's always got an opinion, well, what, what is right and what is wrong. And usually if they think you're wrong, they're not shy in coming forward and telling you from the safety of their monitor screen. It's up to the owner. That's what is right. Restoration is not always possible. A complete accurate restoration is not always possible. In no small part due to the 
unavailability of the original wraps. So you have to be creative, you have to get as close as you can. Or go in a completely different direction and do something new and original. Now I've done previous jobs where I've had people say, oh that's got the wrong badge on it, that's not got the right tom holder. It's what the client wants, the person who's paying the bill, the person who wants that badge on that drum in that style and that holder there. Back in the day, you could do exactly the same with Premier. You could order a kit and you could have whatever you wanted where you wanted it. What I want to do is I want to take a look at some rodded drums that I'm sure will upset purists. I think what you've got to remember, if it's right for you, it's not wrong. Unless, of course, you fit Pearl Tom holders, then you should be flayed alive. But let's take a look at some examples of what I'm talking about. Something that may want to make some people avert their eyes and never watch this program again. Jumping in at the deep end, we have here what I call the Ratinator kit. 13 by 9, 18 by 16 and 24 by 14. All the shells were unloved and wanted orphans. The 13 had badly faded and damaged polygold wrap. The 18 was just a shell with slight water damage. And the 24 was a genuine resonator that had been stored in a coal bunker for years and almost beyond redemption. The 13 inch was easy enough to strip. The water damage on the 18 hadn't caused any ply separation. But the 24 needed a lot of attention to rescue the mullet in a liner. I decided to go full Mad Max steampunk, old dials, rivets, fake oil stains and general umschke to make it look ever so dirty. The snare drum was an old 2000 aluminium shell that had divested itself of all its chrome. So I linished the surface, added some vents appropriated from an old electric heater and a generic throw off and butt I had in my spares. To keep the resonator theme I fitted a new finished birch in a liner and the toms also received new liners. Love it or loathe it, it's hard to deny its visual impact. Made some progress with the 15 inch Silver Star Concert Tom. Drilled the holes for the resonant side lugs, cut the bearing edge on the resonant side, so I'll just carry on attaching the lugs. Okay, 15 is done, and like the others, it's looking rather lovely. You can see inside the shell, that's come absolutely beautifully. Right, so now, I need to get an internal damper for it. That one's a bit scabby, so I need to get that cleaned up. Yes, well, I think that's it. That one for now. And now, the next bit. Now let's take a look at another custom job, an old and loved Royal Ace chrome over brass shell that had seen better days. This chrome over brass Royal Ace shell looked to be in good condition, but at some point there had been an unsuccessful attempt to remove the chrome, leaving a dull patch on a large section of the shell. I linished the chrome off, coated it with lacquer, fitted a conventional throw-off and a pair of 1930s Dominion hoops along with a reproduction aged badge to complete the custom vintage look. Well, there she is, 15 now with all the hoops and rods in place, just some temporary heads so we can make sure it all tunes up and plays. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, Silver Star Kit. The 12 is done, just waiting for some more 4420 lugs. Then the 13 is done, that's finished. The 14 is done, just need some hoops for that. Um, the 15, that is done. Now it's the 16 and the 18. I'll crack on with those and when they're done, you can take a look. A lot of people say to me, Unhand me, you beast! A lot of people say to me, Mike, what do you do with your old 2000 shells that have flaked and pitted and the chrome's come off? 
Well, you could do this. Timbali. It's not very pretty, but nor am I. It's quite simple, really. You take all the useful bits off. The mechanism, the lugs, die-cast hoops, the lot. And you don't necessarily have to use Premier lugs. I like them. That's why I've used them. Simple spade mount. That's a 5-inch shell. This is a 6-inch shell. Saves wasting them, saves throwing them away. Great for studio use. No one's going to see them. And the aluminium shells actually sound really good as Timbales. Just taking the 16 inch Silver Star Tom apart, remember I was telling you about the 12 inch that had international size stamped on the inside? Well, this one has two. If you can just about see that, it might be a bit too fuzzy for the camera. I've just been prepping the 16 inch shell, cleaning up the inside, and cutting the bearing edge on what will be the resonance side. I'm just giving it a general check over and I've noticed something which I have to deal with. It's a little bit of separation on the bearing edge. I need to get that glued so it doesn't spread it worse before we can proceed. Right, so that's the 16 split all clamped up. I'll put that to one side for a day or two and wait until it's dried off. Carry on. Might as well press on with the 18 inch then. This is interesting. Whilst I've been having a cheeky bovril and a biscuit before getting stuck into the 18 inch Silver Star concert tom, I was perusing the very lovely. Premier Dealer Handbook AR. And I was reminded of something. I know what you're thinking. Tell us, what is this revelation, Mike? What's the revelation, Mike? I'll tell you then. Remember that I was going to put 440 20 lugs on the 13, which I have done, and on the 12 inch. I realised that the 12 inch actually had these lugs, the 220, and you can see they are quite a bit shorter. Now, what difference does that make, I hear you ask? How what difference does that make, you dribbling buffoon? Well, for this job it makes a significant difference because I'm going to be putting the right lugs on the 12 inch, and also I have these in stock. So the hunt for the 440 20 lugs can now end because I don't actually need them. Well, not for this job anyway. It always helps be prepared and equipped with all the facts, doesn't it? Et voila, the 12 inch is done. Lovely. Put it over here. The rest of the family. How nice is that? The 18 is done. It's finished. It's beautiful. It's big. It's brush. It's bold. We love it. It's looking and sounding great. Just like the rest of the kit. Go and have a look at that 16. See how the repair's getting on. Okay, that split has repaired really nicely. The you remember the delamination in the bearing edge in the 16 inch? That has healed up nicely. Excellent. So now I can get some lugs slitted and then that's the 16 done. Right, we've been looking at customizations that I realise some people might be quite upset about. I'm sorry, I hope you'll recover. Let's take a look at some of the rewraps restorations, revitalizations that have passed through the hallowed halls of Blenheim Towers. Hopefully this will make you feel a lot better.
Did you enjoy it? Oh, it was lovely, wasn't it? All those and the things and everything. Oh, quite wonderful. If you think there's something that I can do for you, well, just get those thoughts out of your head. That's disgusting. I'm not that kind of person. Alternatively, you could just um, pop your clothes on the chair next to mine and go behind the curtain and wait for me there. <laughs> if you feel there's something I can do for you, pop along to the website, this be it, here, fill in the contact form, let me know what you've got in mind, keep it clean, and we'll see what we can do for you. The finish line is within sight. It is tantalizingly close. Nearly finished the Silver Star concert on conversion project. 16 inch, we have the lugs ready to go. We have everything ready to go, but I'm just waiting for a hoop to arrive, some washers. So, we've stalled. So, we're that close to actually setting them up and playing them, and that's gonna happen very soon. <sighs> Postman's been, and I've got what I think is the the 16 inch hoop for the 16 inch Silver Star Tom. So, and I've got the washers as well here, so I can press on with that and get the uh, get the 16 finished. And I think that's it. They'll all be done. Well, that's the 16 done inside. Once again, a bit of love and attention and a waft of lacquer has brought up the mahogany. Just beautiful, really good. And the beach looks fabulous as well. Really, really nice. Okay, so let's get some heads on this. Right. 16 is done. I put some temporary heads on. As soon as the new heads come, the, all the drums on the Silver Star kit will get new heads, and then you know what that means. Where at last? They're here. <laughs> Don't they look fab? I thought a little alfresco filming in real life would do them justice and haven't got enough clear space inside to set them up. Apologies for the hodgepodge of heads, but the new heads still haven't arrived and just couldn't wait any longer. Whilst the interior of the shelves have been returned to their former glory, the Silver Star Rat was a different story. Despite trying a number of different methods to deal with the scratches and marks, I couldn't find one that would do these beauties justice. So if you happen to know how to make this finish look new again and repair damage, please let me know. Preservation, conservation, as well as conversion were the bywords for this job. A set of unloved concert toms languishing in storage have been TLC back into action. Apart from the shell repairs inside and the fitting of new high tension lugs to the 12 inch and 13 inch, plus the addition of lugs on the resonant side of the larger drums, the resonant side bearing edges needed forming from the flat and badly damaged open ends. There is talk of the bass drum checking into Blenheim Drums Rehab Clinic, but that's another story for another time. again in the maternity ward of vintage drummage next time on the drum fettler and we'll be there forceps at the ready to deliver you more lovely restorations chat and fun and games